Hi everybody, there's something really interesting going on in Nyland, California. Nyland is located down by the Salton Sea. There's a natural occurring geyser down here. Actually, it's been around since 1953. And we've been over there a few times and seen the mud pots and geyser mm -hmm. and stuff. Might be time for a second trip over to that area. Yeah. Or yeah. third or fourth trip. Yeah. So the, the geyser is like right kind of in the middle of the highway, of Highway 111, right? Or State Route 111. Right, right. They had to move the highway and they had to move the railroad tracks. Uh, quite, quite interesting how the mud pots move. I remember mm -hmm. one time when we were down there, you know, it just seemed like they were popping up everywhere. Yeah, I think they said that it's moving because of the seismic ac activity down there right now. It's moving like 10 feet a month. Right. And so, and they did talk about, at one time they thought about just closing down State Route 111, but that would mean an 80 mile detour all the way around. And since there's so many farms, uh, it's heavily used by all the agriculture in the area, so um, they decided they would just build the road around it for right now. Right, just move, move the road around. Yeah, so pretty interesting though. I mean, Salton Sea area has had a lot of seismic activity over the years, and they have these swarms of earthquakes, and they said that they think that's what caused this to start moving. Um, from what I read, the earthquake swarms last anywhere from one to up to like 20 days. And so, pretty interesting. There's also, did you know there's like five volcanoes that are active down there? No, yeah. I didn't. didn't. Yeah, five volcanoes that are active down there. A very interesting area. We've yeah. seen it when we stayed at Anza Borrego, and mm -hmm. we actually stayed at Salton Sea mm -hmm. State Park. Yeah, there. and then uh, we visited these mud pots down there that are just like in the parking lot, right down by a geothermal plant. I think there's uh, 10 or 11 geothermal plants down there. Is right that when we went skinny dipping in the mud pots? <laughs> no, he's, no, he's not. <laughs> We did not because the, the mud pots, they said that down there the mud pots are like 680 degrees. I oh, that was, a, that was a different time. <laughs> no. No, he's, no. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, the mud pots are uh, free to get to. And last I checked, um, they're still open to the public. There's several different ones down there, but the ones we went to just kind of drive over to the parking lot over there by the geothermal plant and uh, you have to be really careful because the ground uh, is pretty fragile right and it's not none of it's protected but you can yeah. walk right up to it yeah yeah and watch the mud bubbling right up out of the ground so it's pretty interesting right and occasionally it'll splatter yeah, so you do yeah have it to... does the only thing that would make this video better is if we had smell a vision yeah, that's, that, that's true <laughs> See this thing spitting on me here. Yeah. Just thought that would be kind of a something that we wanted to share interesting story with you guys. Right. So we will catch up with you guys later. So that was hot springs then? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.